I'm Ranger Kuki, and today I want to show you some solar light panels that we use to go camping with or to use to see our way through the night. Alright, right here we have the Lucy light. Um, it's powered by the sun, charges by the sun. Oops, we have the Pack Light Max. Then we have a solar light rope. So we're gonna do a test today. We'll see which one really works the best. This is gonna be a versus versus, which one works better than the other. So we're gonna find out about all the parts and all the goodies in it. All right, the rope light, the uh, rope light is 50 LD lamps. And and a waterproof housing, 16 feet. It runs up to eight hours on a full charge. We gonna see about that. All right, let's see. Uh, let's find out how long it takes to, to charge this thing before we go any further. Run time is eight hours, length 22, 22 feet. And that's the batteries. We need to know how long it needs to be in the sun. That's what we need. Mm. Oh well. Here. So we're gonna do a versus versus to see which one does the better job. All right, here's the rope light. We're gonna put it in the sun and let it charge. Now we got the Lucy light. Everybody knows about the Lucy light. Let's take a look at it. Now I heard there's different colors. There's white, green, and I have the blue. Now I heard this takes about, I didn't hear, but I read the instructions, seven hours to charge this one up. This one's already been pre-charged. You push a little bu uh, button down here it tells you the little battery charge. It's so bright out here, you can't see where it's at. Then we got the new um, 150 aluminums. It's the Pack Light Max. 50 hours running time per charge, and it takes 10 hours to charge this one. And it runs on 50 hours single charge and I could charge this one on my computer or a SBP port like a Lucy light it, damn here we got a light coming on saying it's being charged so we're gonna do a test I know this one's not charged full all the way but I could take this and put it on my computer. So we got three types of lights that bushcrafters can use. You can put this in your campsite and if you need to turn it on, just turn it on. You got some light for a few minutes around your whole camp. Then we got the Lucy light. Everybody's seen the Lucy light, but now we got a new one. We're gonna do a test on this. It's very light, it's the same thing, a little bigger, but 150 aluminums and it runs on 50 hours on a single charge. That is a lot of, that's a, almost, damn, almost a week. A week worth of battery juice of light. All right, so we're gonna do our test tonight. I see you. In All right, I wanna know some things about each one. You got to have the sun to charge this one. You can't charge it no other way but the sun, and it has to be a nice day. The Lucy light, you could also have to be charged by the sun. Now the light pack can be charged by a computer or the sun. So I can pre-charge this and it should take no more than two to three hours with a computer and it will take me ten hours with the sun. 
seven hours and I really don't know it doesn't say how many hours it takes to charge this one so I'm going to take a guess also seven hours to charge this one too so we're going to charge these lights and we're going to do the test tonight and see which one you like the best all right I'm Ranger Cookie and I'll see you in a few minutes in a few minutes clap on clap off that clapper well, I'm Ranger Kinky, and we're doing the light test of all these lights. First, I'm going to get the Lucy light. This is the Lucy light in the room. In case the lights go out and you're doing a hurricane, see, there's a little light back there. It tells you how many, how powerful it is. It says three. So that means that it got a full charge. This is dim, if I'm not mistaken. And this is bright. Lights up the room. And this is the Lucy light. And they got one more for it. It's the uh, emergency. So this is a good light to have. If you have a hurricane comes and it takes up the light. Or you just didn't pay your light bill. This is a good item to have. Now here's the rope. The rope light, this is also good to have. There's flashing and on. Now this is good for, for hurricanes too. You can put the little solar panel outside your window, then have it wrapped around your ceiling. And when the lights go off, just turn on the light and you have a nice glow in your room. Let's see how well it works. And this is the uh, rope light. I didn't untangle it because I don't like messing around with it. And now we got the pack light light. If I can find the switch. This shows you it's all powered up. You can charge this one with solar or the UPS port on your computer. And this is the light for the pack light. Pack light light. And you see it's pretty bright. Now this would be really good. This one lasts 50 hours in with a full charge. And that lights up the whole room. Imagine each of your room have one of these lights. A hurricane comes, tornado, whatever knocks out your lights in your house. This will brighten up your house. And if you never, if you place a light towards the ceiling, and it's a white ceiling, then it gets brighter. And this is facing down. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is the light, the light test for the Pro Light uh, light. 50 hours after a good charge. The Rope Light, maybe seven, uh, maybe eight hours of light. And the Lucy light, which will give you about seven hours of light. And I noticed the reason why this one's not as bright is because I think it's made out of clear plastic. See how that clear plastic and the bright pet light is white. All right, we're going to do a, a test outside in the woods to see if what's the difference of these lights. See you out there in the woods. Well, we're in the middle of the woods now. I have the pro light on right now. Hold these. And let's see how bright this baby is. I'm gonna shine it against this tree over here and see if you can re see it. All right. Now remember, this is 120 aluminums and I paid about 24 to $25 for this item. It also has different light modes, dim, dimmer, dim and blinking I noticed this one's pretty bright because the the plastic box is white instead of a clear now I'm gonna show you another light now I want to show you the rope light now if you have a base camp in the middle of the woods you can wrap this over your hammock on your, your ridge lawn just to see you can run into the, your hammock, so when, if you need a light, just flip the switch. You got a light to, and the light, and 
to light your whole camp area up. Now this only has two modes, on and blinking. And this is the rope light. Now I will show you the last light is the Lucy light. And show you oh, how sorry. bright the Lucy light is. Now let's point at the trees and see if y'all can see the trees. Yep, it was pretty good. So this is the Lucy light. I don't know the elements. I think it's about 75. And this is that Lucy light. So, you have a choice. Which one would you pick out of the lights? Well, we know the rope light is not that good as the Lucy light or the pack light, but we'll turn it on anyway. You have three lights you can choose from that is solar power. Solar power by other lights and lights itself. A full charge on the pack light is 50 hours where the lucid light might be seven hours and the rope light may be three or four hours. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie and this is my little... So let me know which one you like the best. The one you can charge on your computer for two, one to three hours and get a full charge or leave it in the sun for 10 hours. The Lucy light can be in the sun for seven hours and get a charge and only can use the sun or other light source to charge it. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoy the Lucy versus the pack light. And I'll see you next video. And I hope somebody out here else have a better uh, views about these lights I have. I hope he, I don't, I, I hear somebody's creeping up for me. Boo! <laughs> yeah, my ear, you, you hurt my ear more than scared me, but what the hell? Well, look who it is! It's a Sasquatch. <laughs> it's a Bigfoot! Look Absolutely, at I tell you. <laughs> well, this is Mark Manland D. Chandler. Look, man, look, look, that thing's bright. That thing is bright. Let's Holy take a look. Moly. I tell you what, that is a bright little, what's the name of that thing? This again? is the Pack Light Light. The Lumina, 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 Light Max. Yeah, that thing right there works real nice. Well, show them what it does. What is, look at that. It charges by the. Go ahead, you do the review. He knew what Okay, I'm going to review. Hmm. Looks to me like it's one of them uh, accordion things. Mm -hmm. You know, that type of thing. But uh, from what little I've seen, there's a nice little solar panel there on top. I'm going to try this right here. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera. But I've got one of the little lights here. It didn't mean to flash you. That i got in a giveaway going on. We're going to put it right there on that solar panel. And you can see this thing, this little light right here, light up. There it goes. Oh, that's the emergency flash. See that little red light right there? And you take that light away, it's not charging no more. But as long as it's got a light, it charges. Yeah. Now that's just as neat as it can be. Now, th they on. say the Lucy light does the same thing with light, low light, but look at how bright this light is compared to the max light. Big difference. If you're going to invest in something like this and you really want to spend some good money, well, this is not that expensive. It was like but $23, 25 com Comparing the two together, this is nice to have. It's real small and compact. But so is this. This is nice. The Lucy light, you can't charge off of AC from what I understand, correct? That's correct. Only light source can charge this light. So you're dependent solely on solar by using this one. Correct. But I heard you can just you can use this in a cloudy, so is this one. I use both of them today. I did a test. And they both mm. charge with no light. Basically, just a flashlight can charge these babies. One thing I noticed right here about this one versus the Lucy, it's not I may not be right. pronouncing it correctly, but it's the light diffusing capacities of the Lucy does not, this one here does. For some reason, I was thinking this was actually going to limit the amount of light coming out. Mm, it does real good. It actually is so bright, you can't help but enjoy the diffuse of the light. And it shines it all over the place. And I am looking on the ground and I can see my foot's very well. Here's the Lucy. 
it does the pretty same thing it's a clear light but it's more like a flashlight in this mode the square one the illuminati as they call it it throws a light everywhere flip it back over and we'll see the difference again Which all way? right uh let's put the lucy light okay all right here, that's here, all right here here's the lucy and show the other one now damn big difference big difference big difference. now remember this is 120 aluminums versus the 50 or 75 aluminums from the lucy it might be a little bigger in compare but this is square and you could probably pack both of them anywhere in your bag but lucy's got two settings right oh uh, both of them have all kinds of settings a, has a high and low yeah uh okay. this is the one and that's high i just turned it on high usually it goes low high blinking now this one has seven or four i'm sorry four and it lasts for 50 hours you can't beat 50 hours of light that's almost a whole week <laughs> i like the square that's cool but i also like the lucy now now before we go away. further what's fun about this one oh this one what he has there is this is the light rope first six feet of rope do not light keep away from sprinklers well also in an emergency situation you can cut this thing in half if you need to and you got yourself an emergency sucking straw always need them soda straws out there or spread it out and uh well you could do some intravenous intravenous type of uh you know you gotta transfer some blood from one person to another mosquitoes do it all the time <laughs> why don't you go ahead and turn that baby on Let's try to find a button here to see. ah there we go all right we'll turn this one off now what the benefits you can use with this rope light i can see you can sit there and freak somebody out with a ufo say <laughs> recently use a christmas lot. all right what's your benefits and doubt uh what you can use with that well at night time you got somebody to tie up at least you can see what you're tying <laughs> okay that's a good benefit um uh, i would say to really mark your trails not your trails rather your campsite uh put this right here around uh say some key areas of uh, uh what am i trying to say the the string that goes from the tarp down to the ground that people keep tri tripping over all the time that'd be a good way to mark it right there uh that's pretty much it <laughs> well you could also put it through your ridge line so you can see your whole camping uh yeah yeah i mean it would definitely light up it'd be a perfect little night you could probably put this on the outside and at night pull it in and turn it on when you need it neato now this is the through night t t t o t zero one i've got here tn zero one i think i don't know that's a pretty bright light yeah, there that's too a, that's a nice one and uh this came from jujitsu 2000 by the way shine on yeah. the the, the uh, pad and see if they turn off the lights oh yeah it sure it turned it, it, turned it, it turned right off turn off the lights now why is that because it serves electricity it I guess. serves and it's saying it's daytime it don't even come on oh but hey the lucy's and them don't do that do they let's find out yeah since that light's pretty bright nope nope it don't knock it out when we turn it down yep but it's too charge yeah it's just saying it's charging right now so this thing here automatically knows when it's daylight correct that's what this is that's why it's called a solar panel most solar panels oh. do that let's find out about what the lucy does if you put a bright light on top of it well, no it won't do it it looks like but, it's charging but it is charging <laughs> yes <coughs> wow neato and it's on full blast so is the uh pack light it's all green uh, green yeah it's green it's cool i tell you what man that's all right there so let's sum it up what you think about all these lights you think all of them should be the great idea or maybe just to get the one you need well, i got an idea right here take this right here and you make yourself a halo that way you always look innocent yeah how about <laughs> the lucy light would that be i like the lucy's because they're out originally this is one i'm most familiar with but comparing it to the, I'm gonna call this the ice cube because it's square and I love the way it diffuses the light real evenly. It's not a blinding light as per se when you look directly at it like the Lucy. 
this thing here, I mean, it throws out some light. And it does it all 360, like a bubble, even though it's square. But y'all know what I mean. So hang, that, hang that up there next to your camp, shoot. You can see. So, I'm going to sum this up. I like all three items. Because I can put this at Hobo and light the, my Hobo. Two of these will light up Hobo inside. <coughs> and I don't have to bring it home. Because I can just leave it out there. I don't pay nine bucks for it because I had a coupon. Well, it says, uh, to, it says keep away from sprinklers, and that's kind of a... If this thing was totally waterproof, and you've got a place like Hobo, you could turn that thing on and leave it on 24-7. That's right. And always be able to see your camp when you go in. And these, I could pack these when I go to different places. Oh, hey. And these are awesome. I put, I could pack... I want to get another one of these. It's going to be a cool giveaway for... Uh, my challenge I'm going to put out later on. You'll see the challenge. I'm playing with the UFO, man. I love the donut. <laughs> and, and what you think about the dimness? I think that's 50 hours, and it goes to each each one you do. It goes to different hours. I don't know about the Lucy light. The Lucy light has only one setting, up to and blinking. All right, I'm Ranger Kooky, and this is Amateur Artist Mar D. Chandler. See y'all next video.